time I want to show you a couple more tricks with your folders in your organization. Let's take a look at the screen. What I've got in this case are 50 polygons representing the 50 United States. And in my folder, I got my United States polygon folders. When I open this up, here are the list of 50 states. One trick I want to show you is what if I'm looking for a specific state? Let's take a close, close look. I've selected the United States Polygon folder, and now down here at the bottom of places, I got the search feature. Let's say I'm searching for the state of Texas. It automatically, funny, when I finish T-E-X, A-S, it automatically selected the first entity in that folder that fit that label. So you have a little search feature within your uh, folders as well and your My Places. I want to show you another trick. Let's say this is not how I want my states to look in my Google Earth. <clears throat> right now, they're all gray with a blue border to them. What if I want to give them more of a mosaic of colors? Now, I could right-click properties and change each one, but now I'd have to do that 50 times, one for each state. But since all of these polygons are in this one folder, now I can right-click properties on the folder they belong to. And I'm going to come to Style and Color. And what I'm going to do is I want, instead of a blue outline, I want them to be black. So now you can see they all have a black outline. And maybe I want to randomize the colors. And now each state randomly has a different uh, uh, fill color to it. When I'm happy with that, I can click OK, shrink down my folder, file, save my places. And now my 50 United States will look the way I want. So there you have it, a couple of tricks with folders. You have a search feature, and you can uh, go into the properties of the folder and change the look and feel of your entities inside of it all at once. Thanks for watching, map your world.